these horror stories remind me of creep creepy pastas. I wonder what that is. I have no idea what that is, Blue. <clears throat> okay. Let me share my screen. We sharing the screen. This right here. Question. We don't want to get copyrighted. We already know what's going. I mean, it's not going to copyright you, but just in case. Look at this. Now, look at a picture right here. Look at that. I know it's probably fake. I know it's probably fake. This is just a warm up, guys. I know it's probably fake. But if you saw that in real life, you wouldn't be looking at this thing like, you know, you wouldn't be looking at this thing like, oh, sh it's just a regular thing. Like, this would be a creepy object. And honestly, <clears throat> we don't know what's been going on back in the day when it comes to weird stuff like this. Because they, they, they did demonic activities. Oh, yeah, maybe Blue Deuce might, might know some history on this. Or, or I don't know. Do you know some history on, on creepy stuff? Creepy pastas and fictional horror stories. The most popular stories are Slender Man. Oh, Slender Man. Slender Man, Jeff the Killer, Laughing Jack, and the disappearance of, Ashley's, of Ashley, Kansas. <laughs> Yo, the disappearance of Ashley, Kansas. That sounds serious. It, it sounds real. That sounds real, man. But Slender Man, everybody should should at least know Slender Man from like the movie or like TV. Like Slender Man was was one of them things that was out there. So you you at least should have caught that um, at some point around the way, some point. Um, nevertheless, that's crazy. But this picture right here, guys, I just just off of face value, whether it's real or fake. If you were to see that in person, I think nine times out of ten, it'll creep you out. At least it'll at least I can speak for myself and be like, yes, it'll be a creepy thing to be around to see. Like a like a goat head on a human. <clears throat> you know, that's just freaky. You know? But let's hear what he said. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody want to tell me just what in the gigantic goat man is going on here? This picture right here is proof to me that drugs have been around for a very long time people have been getting high for a long time why do i say that only somebody high out of their damn mind would sit there next to a gigantic goat man and take a picture like everything's okay Hey man, whether that's real or fake, I don't know. I believe it's fake, but we see some weird stuff. At, uh, <laughs> we see some weird stuff at the, uh, you know, around these weird demonic, you know, events. Victoria said Slender Man is very popular from the games. Okay, um, it does, but there was never an Ashley Kansas in real life. Okay, okay. In the in the creepy pastas, made made me stop reading them <laughs> since uh, I took it seriously and got paranoid. Like, hey, like although like some of the scary stuff that I have done in the past, I know some of them were fake. The storytelling was crazy. The storytelling will have you actually believe, um, <clears throat> like it could have happened. You know what I mean? Because some of the some some of the like the demonic stuff, hey. I don't, I don't really know but i remember last time i did a scary saturdays i heard something in the back something was moving and so i had to pause real quick and ha i had to get the uh you know the glock action the uh you know what i mean i'm not gonna say because youtube might try to cut cut it off they be doing that sometimes on the scary Saturday. how many scary saturdays have been shut down bro anyway i had to go get the go get the shoddy to the body you know what I'm saying? I had to get a shot. I had to, I had to, I had to go, go get the toolie. Um, but it was nothing there. Luckily, it was nothing there. But I was acting like Inspector Gadget, trying to be careful and investigate what was going on. Because we in the crib, man. 